What's up guys, Kevin Getz here from Mute Profit, helping you achieve musical success. Today we're talking about the fine line that separates healthy motivation from unhealthy motivation. And that is, does your motivation derive from eagerness for more or from dissatisfaction with where you are? And the important thing to state right off the bat is that neither one of those is wrong or bad in any way. They both work. One is just a hell of a lot more sustainable than the other. So for instance, if you hit some kind of pain point in your life where you look around and just everything you're doing is shit, you're not satisfied by anything you got going on in your life, right? There is no more powerful time to get up and fix shit than that. You hit this breaking point where it's like, well, I don't like anything about where I'm at. And so you're like, okay, so I'm not gonna be here for very long, fuck you. It's kind of this fuck you energy that you use to get pissed off at your life circumstances and use that anger and dissatisfaction to motivate yourself to try harder. So the first hurdle with this is that it can take way too long to see any actual attainable goals and progress. When you're trying to start any kind of entrepreneurship of any, any sort, it can take you years to get off the ground. I'm not saying it will, it took me, you know, once I had the right strategies, hint, hint, subscribe to my channel for the right strategies, it only took me a few months to get off the ground, but some people will take years. And if you're waking up every day pissed off, depressed, dissatisfied, fighting with all you have in order to not be where you are, and you're just going nowhere because it just takes more time, that does bad things to you, both psychologically and in some cases physically. Chronic stress is incredibly damaging. So the key then is to set attainable goals. The key is like short term, like if you're starting a YouTube channel, it's, it's not, I will be satisfied when I hit my first 100,000 subscribers. No, start at 50, then 100, then 200. Set attainable goals. It, again, to use the YouTube analogy, you would keep clicking to your analytics and you keep seeing just upward curves and it's like, okay, I'm doing good. I'm still not happy with where I am, but I have reason to kind of let some of the cynicism go because I'm, I'm doing okay. The problem is that once you hit a point of satisfaction, you will kind of fall off where, because the human brain really wants to be in a comfort zone. We're fucking lazy. Like that's, that's just the way it is. Okay. We are incredibly lazy creatures. We want to hit a comfort zone and stop and just stay where we are for the next 40 years. That's not how you get successful. So you can either keep redefining your dissatisfaction, which I would not recommend that at all. Now you like you can, you know, say you hit 100,000 subscribers on YouTube and then you make friends with people who have 300,000. You're like, I wanna do that. I wanna get where they are. So you can kind of re, redefine the fuck you energy and angle it toward other people or toward other higher milestones and goals. Or what might be a bit healthier is to taper off from dissatisfaction into eagerness. So it's like, again, to use the YouTube analogy, it's like, holy shit, I entered 100,000 subscribers. What's next? What else can I do? I can do anything I want to do, right? So let's start doing other things. You see a glimmer of success you see something that is attainable that you have achieved and you go, wow, I never thought I would do that. What else have I never thought I would do that I am totally capable of doing? Let's find out, let's do more shit. And so that has an incredibly powerful effect and is absolutely worth doing. And if you can find a healthy blend of the two, that's where the real secrets of motivation come from. You know, you use the ambitious competitive energy to drive yourself forward with intensity and you taper it off into this eager, excited kind of energy that is a lot more sustainable and you just keep tweaking the levels based on tweaking your focus, tweaking the thoughts running through your head. And that's how you can just do really incredible things and to other people looking in at your life and what you're accomplishing and how you're doing it, you almost do seem like superhuman. I've had students and family members and friends alike who will come to me and just like, I don't know how you do everything that you do in a day. And it's just, that's how, there you go, that's my secret, bye. Thanks so much for watching. I have new videos on motivation and creative mindsets coming out every Monday, as well as other music lessons coming out every single day, including marketing, instrumentation, songwriting, audio engineering. I aim to make this channel the single destination for 
anything and everything you need to achieve success in music.